Good morning, my rogue readers. My name is Erin Rogoff, and welcome back to my booktube channel. I have been reading too many books to count recently, and I want to get into the habit of reviewing short stories and fan fictions online, so stories and fan fictions on websites like Quotev and Wattpad. In case you didn't know, I have a Quotev webpage too, so I will leave a link to that page in the description below. And today's video isn't reviewing my own work, I will be reviewing Numb by Quotev authors Five Hargreaves and Lexi, which I'll leave links to as well. What do we know about the main character in Numb? She is an original character, and her name is Aurora Nukamura. She is 16, her godly parent is Nemesis, and her mortal parent died when she was about 5 years old, so we don't see her. She is an unmentioned character in this fanfiction. And she has one sibling named Ethan. She has several best friends, but no regular friends. Her best friends are Percy Jackson, Annabeth, Hazel, Jason, Leo, Nico, Will, and Piper. And her weapon of choice is a dagger. And I would have to say that if I was in a Percy Jackson fanfiction, my weapon of choice would probably be the bow and arrow. So comment below what your weapon of choice would be in the Percy Jackson series. Moving along to her fatal flaw, she is very jealous. The plot of the Percy Jackson fanfiction is very quick because it's only one chapter, but it does have you hooked by the end of that chapter. So Aurora and her friends are pulled in a chariot by Pegasus creatures racing to catch those who are running away from them. Aurora and her friends catch Leo and Piper who are twins, and their protector is Gleason Hedge, who Aurora and her friends are looking for. However, Gleason Hedge was abducted by the Venti, which are ancient Greek storm creatures, and in the fanfiction they are known as the Tornado Monsters. And then Annabeth confronts Leo and Piper in a less than friendly way, and then Jason's character is introduced. He goes the Jason and the Argonauts way as the one-sandaled man, so that just made me think of the classic 1963 movie Jason and the Argonauts, because he was the one-sandled man. And if you don't remember the movie, it was the movie with Hera the talking figurehead and the giants and the moving skeletons. It was such an awesome movie. I highly recommend you watch it, especially if you love Greek mythology, because that movie is just, oh my gosh, I highly recommend it. And then afterwards, Butch's character is introduced and he pulls Annabeth away from the twins while she is shouting, this isn't over. So I have a feeling their friendship is a little on the rocks. And then Piper asks what's wrong, not knowing the gravity of the situation for Aurora and her friends. And then Aurora explains that Percy Jackson, who is Annabeth's boyfriend, is missing. So this fanfiction ends abruptly and we want more. Or at least I do, because I love this fanfiction already. It has me wanting to read the entire Percy Jackson series in three days, which I am pretty sure I can do. And then this fanfiction also has me wondering if there will ever be a sequel fanfiction or more chapters added later. I would like to know because I would like to be prepared for a Percy Jackson fanfiction full-blown, full-length, and full of adventure. Anyway, that is all for today, so if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button to show some support, subscribe to my booktube channel to get more videos like this one, and if you are interested in reading Numb, which is a Percy Jackson fanfiction, then follow the links below to the Quotev pages of Five Hargreaves and Lexi. I highly recommend it. 